full original. Yeah. Silsuk, remarkably solid. Let's go. Dimple and thing underneath. Very good. My friend, look here. Look. It's very nice. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's very it's good. It's nice and solid. Yeah. Just very needs good. the body work doing. Yeah. Reinforcements have arrived. Anchor form. Hi, Vaughn. Are you happy to come out in this wet day to push this wreck for a <laughs> friend of mine? Nothing I'd rather be doing. Nothing you'd rather be doing. So, a um, person who would like to remain anonymous for the moment has uh, got this wonderful speed machine and um, he's probably going to move it on but uh, it's kind of been saved from banger racing it's a alfa romeo 2600 sedan extremely rare car i think they only produce about four thousand of them or less and there's almost none remaining this is a very early 1962 model but currently we need to apply for the registration papers get that sorted and it needs an engine and gearbox but we do have a gentleman that will uh, kindly supply us with the engine and gearbox as well for a price so we're going to do a little walk around video on this when we get it in the workshop. This is the engine for today. Yeah. And uh, we're going to squeeze it in the garage. And uh, yeah, it's been standing outside for a number of years now. It used to be a good car, I believe. And now it's uh, in need of um, restoration. We're going to give it a wipe down because it's inside. What do you think? Beautiful car, isn't it? Yeah. Interesting. I've never seen one before. It's very interesting. And next to the Flaminia here, this is uh, these were direct competitors, really, in the price range. We're gonna even the matching colors. Yeah. Pretty much. It's similar, you can see it's similar uh, style and era, isn't it? Yeah. Well, looking at this one, it doesn't look. Too, it's gonna look great on the camera, but you can see the there's definitely issues with it. it. Does need a paint job, that's for sure. And they've put this weird stuff on the roof. It's kind of like a fake vinyl roof finish. It's painted on. It's painted on, yeah. That definitely. Oh, well, that's covering up the. Yeah, it needs needs to take. Oh, well, there's a ridge there, though. Yeah, but it's not on the other side, and oh. there's paint underneath it. So, so I think somebody kind of sprayed something on, thinking, to give it the fake vinyl roof it's look. Plastic coat. Yeah. It's covered in there, though. It's not like a. Yeah, it's done. It took the time to do it nicely. It's done it? nicely, yeah. But I don't know. But the good if you look at the seals, seals are all solid. The lower the lower part of some of the doors needs replacing. And also around the arch the this oh nice. Rusty stuff. Yeah, it needs the bottom of the uh, wheel arches done. Which is not unusual in this kind of car, but the sill from here and back, which is actually rock solid. Have you seen the uh, hubcaps? No, it's They're pretty cool, aren't they? Yeah. I get the badges as well. You don't have the badge on the front. Yeah. Yeah, I think somebody nicked the badge on the front, yeah. but that's, that's just the way it is. Well, right, let's give it a dry up. Okay. Uh, we got permission to pick on this car, so don't worry, it's all good. And. Uh, we're just uh, removing the custom vinyl roof thing on the top. Basically, this just stuck on a piece of plastic. Nicely done, whoever did this back in the day. They've even, yeah, there's a bit of a different uh, color on the roof. We have a couple of different colors, don't we? 
looks to be light blue underneath. And dark blue, so. Hmm, interesting. We inspected the local English fauna here, Juan. Yeah, that came for free, right? Yeah. It's a bit of a nature reserve on the inside and, you can and use the outside. Just CSI talker and you can start dating and see where its history was by <laughs> fauna. Look at that. It's been leaking in, just growing through. Oh, yeah. Nice. Impressive. Look at the nice details on the door, uh, the top there. How that, uh, oh, yeah. the fine fine engravings on that yeah beautiful. very nice well, you can see they see the inside of the door is actually solid on this that's good what would have gone there um i don't know mystery maybe the handle the handle that must be the Wind handle and yeah look at the actual well it it just needs to be tidied up hey that's nice alfa romeo these are the bits that are hard to get though. Yeah, that's what I yeah. If you don't have that, you're stuck. I've got the door panels. That's good. It's black leather. These actually might, these would clean up. That one. Uh, We've got a carpet as well. Got a carpet. Some more remains of carpet. Jeez, disgusting. <laughs> spider webs. Spider webs. Comes with three spiders. But it's not an Alfa Romeo spider, unfortunately. Yeah. Ready? Okay. There's no keys, but luckily it's not locked. Yeah. Hmm. Parts. Yes. Well, that's good. Water. That's free water. Free water. Nice. The original um, lining. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good. That would probably clean up nicely yeah. as well. One little rip there. Yeah. Super glue. This original uh, air intake. That can't be easy to find. Imagine fabricating that Break thing. Booster. Break booster. Radiator, yeah. good expand. That's yeah, built in. <coughs> that's built in a, tank. That's a proper radiator. That is. Don't put fuel in. It doesn't go anywhere. Oh, there's the other. If we wanted to reattach oh. them, um, I think this has. I just think in there is an electric defogger for the rear oh, window. Okay. <coughs> Was at some point. I read somewhere. But if we look in the look at that, that's actually really good. When you get certain project cars, this is just gone. Yeah, look how much water was sitting on here. Yeah, that's good. It, I'm guessing the brothers aren't great or non-existent. They're non-existent. Yeah. That's this. Oh, yeah, there this is, is this is actually this is good. This is solid. That is a lot of work you don't have to do, which is recreate. Yeah, get another one of those. Yeah. Might as well take the rubber out. But that's a lot of work you don't have to do. The fact yeah. that this boot lid is solid. Look at that nice detail. There's a little lamp in the center here. Ah. That's nice. This is really good. Yeah. There's a few hours saved. For whoever wants to restore it. If anybody really wants this car, please comment. It could be yours very cheaply. I've uh, Got a friend who's got this, as we said earlier, and he's probably not got the time to restore it, but he couldn't bear seeing it just st stand outside, so. Yeah. It open to that. Yeah, we might as well air it out. You know what's pretty amazing, Vaughn, is that this is where the battery goes. Yeah. And it's actually solid in there. They're always missing. It's always just gone where the battery goes. Oh, that has like a lid that goes out. Interesting. Spare wheel. Is there anything underneath the spare wheel? Let's have a look. It's not been removed for a while. Oh, I don't think so. Oh. It's even got air in here. It's got air in it? Yeah. A good spare tire then. 
little bit crusty. A little bit crusty. You can see the water's collected there. Yeah. Is yeah, it? I don't know if those are shagged, those spare wheels, but you could try to sunblast them and see what comes out. But to be honest, this is pretty good. So that's basically sitting in water. Yeah, but that the fact that there's still... Yeah, it's impressive, isn't it? Really? That's why I think this car has been a good car and it's been taken care of most of its life and then came to England and sat outside for five years. And that's what happens. We even have the original jack in here, which is cool. Um, the fuel tank, yeah? That's the fuel sender or something. That's the fuel, fuel sender, yeah. yeah. Or fuel pump or something. Yeah. This does not come out that easy, so we're going to leave that in for now. Just uh, At least it's got more chances of breathing out and airing out. That jack. Um, that'll be a wait. I can see it. I can see it take the... That's the polish test. Two seconds of uh, manual polish and it would be shiny again. But the problem is it's all scabby all over the place. I think that's the original color. Also blue. Might just be thin paint down there. I don't know, but definitely a blue car when it was new. So Ron, what do you think of the power plant? Yeah, impressive. It's uh, the next evolution of electrics, right? Something virtual, like that. Virtual AI powered. Uh, you have a lot engine. of room to put in a power plant in here, actually. Put a little V8 or something. Mm. <coughs> now this uh, car is missing the engine and gearbox. Hence why it was so cheap. But, um, and the hood just uh, kind of lifted off, which is fair enough. That's just four bolts in there though, so that shouldn't be too hard to fix. Nah. It's just sorting the latch nice out. Nice to get it all painted in here and... Yeah, I think off. a lot of this would actually clean up nicely yeah, as well. a lot of it's just grease. Yeah, over a little bit of... Steering rack and stuff, yeah. Yeah, get a bit of hammerite on that. Well, this is just massive amounts of grease, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually pretty get tight. Your, uh, it's pretty tight as well. Get your cleaner, your degreaser. Engine mounts. Yeah, yeah actually clean. Mean, it cleans up really nice. Look yeah. at that. <coughs> Depends how far you want to go. Like, if I was going to do this car, I'd probably clean this completely up. Like, this would be nice to so the just air... rattle can that up again, get it out, rattle can it. There's the air intakes. That's oh, no, the, it's the fresh air. The fresh air intakes, yeah. yeah. And of course, do something about this down here. Tidy that up. It's had a crack. And a... I actually thought it was black. I didn't realize it was body color. Yeah, no, it's, all you... it's, it's, it's really clean. Yeah, actually, it's probably natural. A uh, saved by the. Oh, it's also missing the drive shafts as well, eh? Huh? You're missing the prop shaft as well. I was missing the gearbox. Yeah, but I thought just the gearbox. Uh, the prop shaft's gonna. Uh, prop shaft's in there. In the. It's in the middle, isn't it? Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so it goes straight. It's just the gearbox and the engine yeah. lifted right out. You got the slave cylinder down there, hanging mm. around for the clutch. Um. That's your clutch and brake reservoir. You got your win window wiper engine. Yeah. Your fluid for the window cleaner. It's remarkably complete though. The German car. It's sold in Germany. Well, that looks like it. Yeah. Oh, pretty cool. All the hard to find bits. Mm. That's your thermostat. Your hot air, no um, heater. Uh, is that the matrix? Uh, no, that's a vacuum. That's a vacuum tank. Front wheel. Okay. The information. Each 6,000 miles. Oh, I think it's just a service sticker. Renew oh. the oil in the gearbox. Yeah, what gearbox? But you know, all this stuff, that's all rock solid. 
That is a lot of work if you've got to start remaking it. Everything around the window, rock solid. It's just a car nobody wants, that's the problem. Maybe somebody wants it. The biggest, the biggest main issue I can see on the car is the front bumper, which has had this, obviously had the little knock here and crack down here and then the chrome's flake it off because it's not, it's not rotted through. I've seen these completely rotted. It's, it's actually solid. It's just the flaking and the fact that it's in. So you didn't have to weld this up nicely, straighten it and have it re-welded. That's like- Re-chromed, yeah. Yeah, re-chromed, yeah, that's a proper job. Somebody nicked the badge. Um, it's drying up faster. Yeah, yeah, it's drying up. Let's give it a machine polish and off we go. Just need to put a hamster in the front. Interesting uh, dashboard, isn't it? fit in here probably not it's complete except for i got got one door handle <laughs> i think that should open the it wants to but it's just it's a bit stiff oh yeah i yeah. see it so if you go one way go that way nah it feels like it's loosening Let's grease that up before we force it. Yeah. You actually fit in it, Vaughn. Yep. Are you head height? Yeah, you yep. just about make it. That's good. Don't want to touch it, but yeah. <laughs> See, this is a car for you. No. It's not for me. It's supposed to do drive great. Big six cylinder in the front. There's no cylinder in the front. Vaughn got terrified and uh, has left me to uh, keep picking on the car, which I've been allowed to do, so I will do. Um, we sort of straighten the bumper a bit. As you can see, this had a knock and it did crack. These are quite thin as it is, and it's had some fairly poor replating job at some point. Um, you see, that's all done for. But uh, yeah. I don't know if you can repair that, but you could probably make a new strip, go around, cut this out, and send it to re-chroming. I think that's a salvageable bumper at least. At least now it's not sticking up uh, as much as it did. Um, really cool looking grill though. Shame somebody nicked that badge. Can't really get over that, but it's probably in the easiest piece of trim you can get on this. Um, but yeah, uh, what I've discovered so far is that both front Arches are poopity poop. Somebody's really gone to town on filler here. It's probably a good centimeter of filler. It's a chunk. You can see the thickness of that. Absolutely horrific. <coughs> so both arches sound like that. The uh, the doors have quite a bit of filler on them, but that's just skimmed on like this. So the mill Skin around that's all loose so the good thing um if i can say this in a good thing is that yeah, here as well it's worth looking at this is actually where the aerial was so that's why that's come off somebody's took a big lump of filler on that i'd rather put an aerial in there the good thing is that where it isn't cracking uh or doing its thing there probably ain't any filler so that bird's good for the top here this sounds nice as well Go over it with a magnet later, but and all these bits are good. It's complete in the engine bay. Here's our loot stretched out on the floor. I took the back seat out also just to aid with the airing out. We have the fan shroud, which is nice. We have the air filter, we have the booster with the top for the spare wheel. We uh, the rear trunk mat is actually. Still fairly soft and in decent condition. This will clean up quite nicely and it has a beautiful Alfa Romeo logo in the middle. The one side is torn, the other side is salvageable. You can treat this with uh, the products. All the carpets are 
finished really, um, especially the back ones. Could try to clean them. Door panels will need to be redone. They look pretty nice, to be honest. Um, if you could salvage the paint and make like a patina car, but you'd have to, re you got to repaint this car by the time you've done the bodywork and whatnot. Um, so the trunk floor is super solid. I haven't gone underneath the sand deadening, but I suppose so there'll be a couple of patches to be done. I'm not sure. Um, underneath the seats, absolutely fine. Just a bit of surface rust. A lot of surface rust here and there. And as we looked earlier, it's actually, I don't know if it was shaped like this from the factory, but it's actually solid. There's a little bit of rust that's gone in between these two panels. I think this is a panel there. You take this off, this comes off, so probably there's a couple of holes. Need strips, strip welding in there, but to be honest, not too bad. The doors are what they are, but oh, there is metal. I think you've got to just take the top you got to weld in a new, I don't know if it would be easier just to go from here and down, just replace the whole skin, because it's so dented as well, but not too bad, I guess you could replace it. Yeah, this door panel has obviously been in the car and suffered because of it, you can see the mould and stuff. Again, if you're going to replace that, that's fine. Unfortunately, all the handles are gone in the car except for one door handle. So somebody probably took that in the box and chucked it. Okay, here's a bit of filler on the rear. This rear here. But this is all solid all the way back. There'll be a little patch in here to do. But inside the door, it's actually really good. That's all good. I suspect somebody has remade or this was done from the factory. I'm not sure, but there's galvanized seal in the sills, and that's all solid, so that's good. So there's definitely a lot of work to be done on this. This is a proper project car, no doubt about it, but if somebody wanted to do it, it's absolutely doable. It's a very restorable car, and there's an engine and gearbox available for this as well, for a price. Things we found in the trunk, lots of bolts and screws, might be handy. Probably good cleaning them all up. Original screws and bolts, ashtray infill, and of course, uh, rusty bolts with water. It's safely established that blue was the original color on this car as well. So uh, no doubt about that. Very nice color. Okay, until next time, hope you have a good one and take care.